Hey everyone, my name is Brianna McCarthy and I'm so excited to start this four-part series on New Age Spirituality. In this series, we'll take a look at the beliefs of New Age Spirituality. We'll also answer questions regarding why this ideology is so attractive and why its practices seem to be effective. We'll end with discussing our response as Christians to the spiritual movement. Let's kick off this series by taking a look at the framework and basic tenets of New Age Spirituality. Now, contrary to popular belief, New Age Spirituality is not a religion. Unlike most religions, it does not have a central figure, a structured set of rules, or a single source from which it gleans. The New Age movement, also known as the New Thought Movement, should be viewed rather as an umbrella under which many ideologies fall. These ideologies can include adopting and intermingling things like sorcery, mysticism, and beliefs and values found in other religions like Buddhism, Hinduism, and even Christianity. One of the most popular components of the New Age movement is spiritual psychology, most commonly known as the law of attraction or manifestation. New Age ideology prides itself on gleaning from any and all religions and ideologies with the goal of the enlightenment of the individual. And that is what makes the New Age movement so sinister. It will take from any ideology, even Christianity, to gain the attention of its unsuspecting prey in order to deceive them. It convinces those who subscribe to this belief that there is no need for a higher power because the individual is already divine and is simply on a journey to grow in their divinity. And they don't have to do this with the aid of any external being or deity. Though the New Age can be traced back hundreds of years, we've seen two major resurgences of this ideology within the 2000s. The first was in the early 2000s when many popular New Age and New Thought leaders such as the author of The Secret, Rhonda Byrne, was featured on a daytime television show. The second is happening in our present day. Hear me loud and clear. We are currently experiencing another uptick in the influence of New Age spirituality and its practices. This is evident in the use of crystals and the law of attraction that is currently trending in our culture. I don't, I don't have a religion. I just believe in God and karma and mm -hmm. prayer and you know doing good to people and getting it back. But I do like to take from different religions and apply them to my life. What are those stones? <laughs> this is soda light and this is rose quartz. I just got into stones and crystals and stuff. So. New Age practices have become so popular and so common that you can now find things like tarot cards and sage at your local retail store. There are people leaving the faith in droves because they believe that they have found a new source of healing and enlightenment. In reality, what they have found is not enlightenment at all. It is my hope that through this series, the church is equipped to arise and shine God's light to expose the deception of the enemy. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. Join me next week for part two of our series where we discuss why new age practices seem to be so effective.